So they used to say that being a goth was a phase, but it is the whole deal. We've seen goths everywhere from Hollywood, from the catwalks, and I've even seen the searches for goth baby clothes have gone up by 120%. Goth girl trend for me is all about drama, it's all about bold statements, it's about kind of maximalism and a whole aesthetic, it's definitely not about naming your child about something evil <laughs> or something that means like death because who would call a baby something like that so don't worry none of that is here but you are going to freak out about all the gorgeous beautiful names that are within this trend for girls and for boys so grab your pumpkin spiced whatever and get ready for some gorgeous names Goth girl name of dreams, it is the name, is Sola Bella. Isn't that lovely? It's Sola Bella, and it literally means the beautiful, lonely one. It's so trendy. It's got Isla, it's got Bella, which are some of our favourite names, put together as Sola Bella. And she's also the angel who blows the trumpet on Judgment Day. So, a really amazing story behind it. I love that. I love the kind of dark glam to that all as Sola Bella. What do you reckon? And now you're all probably yelling at the screen, how about the name Enola? So Enola is the word alone, backwards. It's very goth emo. <laughs> it, she is also the sister, I think, of Sherlock Holmes. I haven't seen the show, but I know it's on Netflix. Anything that has Netflix just soars through the charts. We all watch the same stuff. We're all sat on the sofa pregnant going, ooh, Enola. It's got the mystery and the intrigue. It's a beautiful sounding name as well. So a really interesting one. I absolutely love the name Diggory for boys. I feel like it's got this dark and edgy depth. I just thought about digging. <laughs> Maybe a bit more creepy than I thought Diggory, but it's such a cool name. It's got Harry Potter connotations as well. I know I have done a whole Harry Potter name list, which is really, really good. I will link it below. It's all about different Harry Potter stuff. Brilliant. And it means lost one, which is very nice. You think about like lost boys, you think about vampires, um, lost one, Diggory, such a trendy name. And I'm really crushing on the boy name Halloran. I've not really heard it before. It's got that surname as first name edginess to it. And it is a male descendant of a pirate. <laughs> There's an actual word for that, Halloran. Um, but I just think it's a really cool name. It also translates as a stranger from overseas. So if you've kind of met in that way as well, Halloran, really interesting name. Hal is a nickname. I don't mind. I like it. You could even be like Orion as a nickname. Um, but it's a really interesting one. This mystery vibe, you could go with the name Wallace. Wallace means stranger. I think Wallace for a girl. So I'm reading a book at the moment, The Paper Palace. It is a humongous book, huge hit. And again, names and stuff like that always get popular. The mum is called Wallace. Um, and it's an interesting one when you hear it for a woman. It's strong. It's got those kind of goth vibes. You can totally see Kravis going for a name like Wallace for a little girl and just her rocking it totally. So I really like it. It's got the word lace in it, which is very evocative of the goth aesthetic. So there's a lot going for the name Wallace more than you might think at first sight, or you might skip over it in a book and go, oh, and grommet. <laughs> um, but it's an interesting one, and I really love the meaning of stranger. It's just kind of dark and mysterious. Skipping on to the sort of what I'm calling stranger things, so like items, objects, all around this kind of gothic feeling and this goth aesthetic, the first name you could go with is hemlock. So hemlock is actually a poisonous plant. I love the name hemlock. It's not being used. It's such a rare one, but it's so cool. And apparently it's the plant that kills Socrates. Um, so it's got sort of a lot of history to it as well. It's really interesting. And I think where ivy and all those botanical names are really popular, you can totally see hemlock really working within this whole goth aesthetic. I'm also really interested in the name Jinx. 
it kind of means bad luck or to uh, put bad luck on something. So you go, oh, I've jinxed it now because which means I sort of put bad luck on it because they said I was excited about it. Um, or if somebody's talking and you say the same thing together, you say jinx, they have to say your name to release the curse. So very good for a name thing. It's kind of a difficult name in that way. It could also be maybe sound like a pet name, um, but I actually think jinx could work. It could work as a name. It's a fun and playful one with the X, short one syllable. I think it gives off good goth aesthetic vibe, but in a more playful way. So next up is a Scandinavian name. It's one of my all time faves and it's so underused, it's barely registered and it is the name Rune. So you may have remembered about runes as the stones. They had Germanic symbols on and the name actually means secret. So the runes were secret messages that you could pass around and secret and secrecy is just such a exciting part of this whole kind of goth glam movement. So in Scandinavia they would say it runa and it would be the E would be a A and it would be a separate syllable. But in the UK um, and maybe in America we would say it as rune, just one syllable. And I just think it is to me, whimsical, beautiful, secret, you know, you've got this little secret love between the two of you, I just think it is gorge. How about, as a name, the word temple? I'm really getting into it, I think it's just such a beautiful symbol, word names are all the rage, if you haven't got on board with them, they are everywhere, and temple really, really works, it means a sanctuary, and it's got this real gothic, you know, goth started really with a lot of architecture so you can see this really gothic temple sort of really standing strong standing alone the name the surname is first name again and it's also if you look back to the history of the name derived from the knights templar <laughs> so the knights templar we hear a lot in kind of dark more modern novels don't we uh, about sort of secret societies um but they were a real um order of knights back in like the 12th century. Um, so it's really interesting how it came through there. So the temple word would have been connected as a name, people who were part of the Knights Templar potentially. And then you've got temple as a name, which I just think works so well. It sounds like a name, it really, really works, but it's an interesting word that you wouldn't hear in any other sort of name lists, apart from like goth, I think, word names. What do you think? Do you think that true Kardashian already has a brother called Temple? I'm pretty sure. Spoiler. I also loved if you want a more subtle one, the word Roxbury, which means a fortress. So it's a really beautiful name that with that X in it, which I thought a lot of you might really like. Sort of Roxy is kind of a more glam name, but Roxbury it really brings it down and makes it really edgy. Roxbury, a fortress, so something you cannot penetrate that really stands alone and is really, really strong. I absolutely loved I love fortress as a name as well, but I went with Roxbury. I reined myself back in. Gothic novels are some of my absolute favourite reads, and I think these are real whimsical vibes of this goth glam as well. This feels very modern for 2022, but it has the kind of vintageness of names that we like. So how about something like like Mandalay. So Mandalay is the house in Rebecca, where Rebecca lives. Is it a spoiler? Because everyone must have read Rebecca. Um, Mandalay. And I love the name Mandalay. I think it's a really beautiful sounding and really interesting literary name with real goth glam vibes. Also, you could do Elsinore. Any guesses on what Elsinore is? You probably feel it's familiar. It is Hamlet's castle. Hamlet being such a gothic dark Shakespeare play, the Scottish play. Um, oh no, that's my best. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Shakespeare humour there. Um, Elsinore, I think it works really beautifully as a name as well. And Hamlet is such a dark play. It's an interesting one. And I just love the sound of that as a name. I love the idea of wild. It's a bit more mainstream, which is funny. On this list, the name wild is mainstream. Oscar Wilde, who wrote Dorian Gray, really interesting writer, poet. And I just think wild really sums up a real kind of goth glam for a girl or for boy. Lovely with the E on the end. Bronte, Bronte actually means thunder. So it's so perfect for this kind of goth glam list. Um, Emily Bronte actually wrote Wuthering Heights um, and with the whole resurgence at the moment. Kate. Kate Bush. She did a song about Wuthering Heights. I just feel like it's so topical. I love the name Bronte. I love the link to the book. I love the link to the gothic songs. I love the really obscure link to Stranger Things. But I just think the name in general is gorgeous well with a really strong kind of maximalism idea of this goth glam as well. Twin flame vibes, this kind of obsession with people that you get through all sort of gothic resurgence. They're calling it the goth 
renaissance it's like renaissance and gothic together it's really hard to say um but i get that whole twin vibes thing of that kind of you know that sort of almost that vampire love or that otherworldly love that draws you towards the dark so they're a bit cheese but i love them <laughs> came up with inca so inca being like the inca trail but also like inca with the k so because i liked ink and i was like inky but it felt a bit um like a pet name again but i thought inca sounds really beautiful and it's sort of to do with more like tattoos and that whole tattoo trend having somebody's tattoo name tattooed on you i have my little anchor tattoo for my sister inca i just think is a really gorgeous name and really could link a couple who are really into that sort of tribute art on tattoos on your body coming with me on this one <laughs> um solely i love the name solely so much actually a vintage name not in use at all and about feeling of your soul and your soulmate or your soul being a dark soul as well you hear a lot of talk about souls in any type of goth movie play literature um and i thought solely makes it more positive like you're my soulmate type of thing a beautiful name for a baby and i also liked blaze the idea of this strong twin flame type of love this burning this sort of fieriness that kind of always again comes through in kind of the goth so a really interesting for the aesthetic take on it this next group is just real goth aesthetic names with brilliant brilliant meanings and stories so the first one is the name nimue nimue so you say the u and the e and the e is an a nimue interesting name the name naomi is actually rising at the moment it's my sister's name so nimue is interesting that is the name of the lady of the lake so really oh, i just love that whole kind of legend of the lady of the lake she was sometimes she's portrayed as good and sometimes bad so she did some bad things to merlin but she also in the folklore gave arthur the um excalibur so she is said to live in a castle under the lake of avalon and she comes up out of the lake to give her good tidings or to trap merlin um but i thought nimue how interesting what a brilliant name what a brilliant link to this folklore so dark and kind of mysterious absolutely love it please pop it on one of your name lists write it down now the name saber is interesting so i was looking into names like kind of dagger <laughs> things like that thinking there i don't know if i would really want that bestowed on a little baby but i really like saber because you've got the saber toothed tiger and then the saber as a sword so if you imagine like the tattoo with the sword through the heart it's a really really beautiful symbol and can be um and saber is a really lovely lovely name for it as well lenin for boys i absolutely Adore this name is for girls or boys but it i've always heard it as meaning beloved or loved one but it also translates as little cape and a cape that you can wear capes are so in fashion thank goodness i'm going to get into capes i'm going to get my capes back out i think we should all wear them every single day um and lenin meaning little cape is really really cool the name i mentioned so long ago that everyone loved was the name locket and the idea of having this name like we have lachlan we have locky um a lot of names you hear it recently somebody called her baby locky after lockdown it's in the paper but i actually love the idea of the name locket and keeping something there in a locket it's got real goth vibe to it and is a beautiful name similarly cruise meaning cross a great name spanish name really really translates well and everyone kind of knows it uh, but i really love that name i think it works so well for boys or girls and i loved the name rhapsody i don't know if this gives you goth vibes a rhapsody is an epic poem and i think because of the song bohemian rhapsody um it really feels goth beauty to me that maximalism again i think it works so beautifully as a name as well and if you don't want to worry about the meaning, you can go with some gorgeous names like Draven. I love the name Draven. It would really honour a David as well. Um, it is the surname of the character in The Crow. Uh, so it's got a bit more, you know, if you're really into your sort of movies and your horror stuff, you might think of that, Child of the Raven. But Draven, I just love it as a name. And the other name I've always loved is the name Mallory. And Mallory means unlucky. Um, and it's so strange because I was like, oh, I love it. It sounds such a happy name, Mallory. And actually it's got a very, very dark meaning that you're not sure if you want to bestow on your child. But I think if Draven and Mallory go with them, if you love the sound of them, but they do have a bit of a darker meaning. So they, and I love the name Fenris to finish on. Fenris, never heard it, which is unusual because you know I love an F name for boys. And he is a sort of a wolf, a wolf boy, a monstrous kind of wolf, a bit of a bad guy, Fenris. But I thought, what a cool name. Really love it. We all love those sort of wild animal names at the moment, like Phoenix and all of those bigger ones of Wolfie. 
box and I thought Fenris would really hit a lot of people's sweet spots especially if we're looking at a list like this so I hope you enjoyed it I hope there was something there that you got inspired by or you just find it interesting and exciting even if goth isn't your style there's such a beautiful um thing to celebrate and to be a part of and to learn about so look out for the goth get it going in your house I painted everything black I only wear black now because I'm so trendy with my baby name channel on youtube <laughs> any requests you would like pop them in the comment section below do check out the podcast it's a consultancy it will be back sometime soon it's just on a little pause but there's a whole backlog there you can listen to and get involved with and enjoy and i will see you on my next video hit subscribe hit like do all the good things that really supports me and i'll see you soon bye bye